Guys, Eddie from Harlem Bling. In this video, we will talk about celebrities, rappers, and the jewelry they really wear. It will really surprise you, some of the secrets I will tell you. A lot of you guys that are watching me might already know them. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Show the channel some support. Harlem Bling, we're going up in 2024. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to share a secret with you that a very smart person once told me, and it's 100% true, how you can easily tell if someone is rich or poor. Someone has money, or they're really poor and just showing off. Guys, rappers, celebrities have been wearing moissanite jewelry for the last 20 years, but the secret is out. I was one of the first companies that brought moissanite to the main street market, and now we have hundreds, thousands of items ready to ship from the United States. Passes the diamond tester, has a higher refractive index than diamonds, and it's a very affordable option. There's a lot of rappers that are now coming out supporting moissanite, saying that they wear moissanite. Little guys or new people, Mango95, listen to what he says. Man. Cubans, Moisanite, I don't wear diamonds, by the way, so folks want to call my shit fake. I don't wear fake jewelry. Real gold and real silver is not fake. Oh, yeah, yeah. go on. You got you to gotta break that down. Yeah, you I said you got on what? Yeah, I don't wear I don't wear diamonds. I really I really would never. Diamonds are, you know, natural created stones. Moisanite's mm -hmm. are lab created. Lab created. I See, these are people that are honest. These are celebrities that are honest. You guys have to understand, rappers, their whole image, their whole persona is flaunting their wealth. New York is back tomorrow, April 15th. Listen, you know I don't address nothing. I'm never gonna address nothing. Y'all believe what y'all wanna believe. And that's part of that secret that I will get back to. A lot of times these guys get signed onto a record label and they're driving a Toyota Camry, taking bank loans, credit card debt, just to be able to afford putting in gas into that Toyota Camry. People don't become Jay-Z walking around with $100,000 chains from the first day, but that's their image, that's their persona, that's what they want you to believe. So either they will buy moissanite jewelry or jewelers will give them some cheap diamond chains for free just for them to promote those jewelers. Another guy, Ocho Cinco. Already in me, so once says. money came, you know I'm always preaching about being cheap. With the jewelry and the watches, I know I talked to you before about never really buying anything real. Everything was always replica, nothing was ever real. As far Seriously. as, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. always. No point, because the women have already done their Googles. Yeah, so yeah. there's really no in need, there's nobody to impress. taking it a little too far. You should splurge on yourself, you only have one life. But be smart with your money. Now, Another customer that we had, Cassidy, old school guy. Pull it out, it passed the diamond test. So we like, yo, this shit real, shit shining better than niggas' diamonds. And it ain't shit looking crazy. I'm like, yo, this crazy. Where you get this from? Yep. He like, I got it from Harlem Bling. These are the people that are honest. Mike Jones. For the best ice star jewelry, man, you already know, they got the diamond tester. Again, if these are the guys that already made it and their image is already out there. They don't have to lie. But a lot of new people, that's the reason a lot of these jewelers, Icebox, Trax NYC, Aviante, they have all of these rappers endorsements, even though those rappers never spend a dollar at them. They just, it's business. Obviously, those celebrities will not endorse Harlem Bling. They will not endorse other great jewelers that are in the affordable jewelry space. And the reason for that is their image. The image of the rapper is to rent a Rolex and then rent a Bugatti on Turo, then go stay in an Airbnb and take all of these Instagram selfies how they're driving a Bugatti with a Rolex. Meanwhile, they can't even make their rent payment. And then when rappers make it, some of them do choose to buy high-end watches, but most of the smart ones buy moissanite. We have countless rappers, sports players, celebrities that shop at our website, including big names because they love our quality, 
for confidentiality, we cannot expose. It doesn't matter if you're one of those rappers or if you're someone else, I can't expose your name on video, but a lot of you have an idea of where they get their jewelry from, like Mango 95. It's a Gucci chain. Now, the secret, what I was telling you in the beginning. You meet someone new, you wanna find out if they have money or not. You see them wearing a watch, you see them wearing a shirt, whatever it is, whatever it is, or you go to their house, you see a TV on the wall. Ask the person, how much did that cost? A poor person will always be, will always wanna flaunt. You ask a poor person, how much does this watch cost you? gonna hit it with the diamond test uh, yo this watch cost me 50 bands like you see all of the celebrities i spent 200 on this chain i spent 20,000 on this hat they're gonna try to show off that's poor person mentality a rich person is always proud of the money they saved i am proud of money that i save i will always try to buy things on sale and if I can get a deal on this watch, why not? Rich people, if you ask Warren Buffett or you ask the CEO of uh, Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple or Elon Musk, how much did you buy for the watch? Eh, it was a cheap watch. I got it for a few hundred bucks on sale. That's rich people mentality. Remember that. And if you guys watching this will change the way you think, then you will be part of the rich person mentality and you will accumulate wealth. Until next time, Eddie from Harlem Blood.